I really my mama kept giving me motivation And my girl kept telling me, telling me what I need to do I was the one I ain't had nothing, she bought a nigga some food Yeah, that was crazy After a long time of processing things and coming up with schemes Y'all seen the thumbnail, title, clickbait, whatever you want to call it It's your host, Tenero Cash, make sure you like, I'm subscribed for more crazy creative but conscious content all right so i am basically doing a top 10 albums of 2019 i don't know if i'm gonna do parentheses so far or the asterisk thingy so far asterisk thingy so far. the second one um but basically i'm gonna You know what I'm saying? This is what albums y'all need to listen to if y'all haven't listened to them. And y'all should tell me down below and tell everybody else down below what we should listen to. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe, maybe we don't know. What's, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? We not, we not gonna get on that type of game. Let y'all on. You know what I'm saying? One of the best drinks, bro. Anyway, um, let's get to the honorable mentions first. Honorable mentions for me. That's where I'm starting off first because I want to get them out the way. You know what I'm saying? Before I actually get inside the list. And we are going to be going from 10 all the way to 1 uh, album-wise. Um, honorable mentions is basically... Either I haven't listened to the whole album, <clears throat> either I haven't listened to the whole album, or I didn't listen to the album at all, or they kept popping up um, while me while I was doing my research. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to leave nobody out that I listened to. You know what I'm saying? So I was up here doing my research a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too much. I did like. 20 minutes worth of research of the albums that came out and if i miss one got um oh i'm sorry you wasn't main they wasn't mainstream yet or all the way mainstream or whatever whatever i don't know i missed one i'm sorry this is just the list that i got so far i will be doing another one probably like in november december type stuff depending on who dropped and who didn't drop whatever blah, blah, blah. but let's get into it first honorable mention is Kalani, I didn't listen to her whole tape. Um, I believe hers came out in 2019. I believe. Mm -hmm. Hope, yeah. Um, yeah, I believe so. So yeah, the first honorable mention is Kalani. It is Kalani, Kalani, Kalani. <clears throat> um, second honorable mention, Denzel Curry. I didn't actually listen to none of his projects, to be honest. Actually, I, I I was about to react to one song. I was about to check out one song, but I forgot what ended up happening. I forgot. <laughs> maybe maybe I had a lot of backed up videos that, that week or something. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing personal. It's just a lot of music coming out. So I just can't get a chance or don't get the chance to get around to it you know what i'm saying but you know what I'm saying? i gotta i gotta get around to it you know what i'm saying i gotta get around to it but i felt like these honorable mentions need to be said you know what i'm saying they shouldn't be left out so if i didn't say your name and you have an album out either you just gotta keep you know what i'm saying grinding to get noticed or got no i missed it on, on accident you know uh, next honorable mention is Lil Pump, Harvey Dropout. Um, I didn't listen to, actually I listened to like two or three songs, but this was before it dropped. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I got the plug. I, I get music pretty much before they drop. You know what I'm saying? Like I be hearing it and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the plug. But <clears throat> um, I feel like he could have did way better. You know what I'm saying? Lil Pump. Um... I feel like he need to elevate. He need, he need to grow more. Um, and I think probably that's a little bit of reason why I didn't listen to the whole album. 
because I already knew who it was for and why he created the album. So, it's for the core fans, you dig what I'm saying? Next up, Pina B Rock. Now, Pina B Rock actually was in my top 10, but as other albums started coming up, I just started comparing them like, oh shoot, you know what I'm saying? Dang, I don't know. Nah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It was hard. It was hard. Out of all of these honorable mentions, I heard Pena B. Rock most of his album. I just forgot one person. I just realized that. Um, folk. I'm going to say them next. Yeah. I just forgot them. Free. Anyway, I forgot what I was talking about Pena B. Rock. Anyway, I forgot T. Freaking Grizzly. I forgot the scriptures. That should have been. They actually, they actually need to be on here. Somebody need to get put out right now. Damn, I can't take nobody out. <laughs> I can't take nobody out. I, I can't take nobody out. I guess he gonna be tired. He gonna be. Just know he was he was supposed to be in my top ten. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures was one of the hardest albums to date of the year. I feel like you know what I'm saying. It was crazy lyrics. It was crazy street talk. A lot of stories. You know what I'm saying? A lot of crazy beats on there. Shout out to. Uh, who the freak was the producer? I forgot his name. I forgot his name. I forgot his name, but he hard. But yeah, shout out to T Grizzly. I don't know why the how the freak I miss it. Like nobody had him up there. Like come on now. <sighs> anyway, um, no cap is one of it's the next honorable mention. Um, he's an artist from uh, Alabama. He's twenty years old. I thought he was older than that. But you know what I'm saying I'm guessing you know what I'm saying he just grew up or early or fast you know what I'm saying so because the way his music is set up I w I would think he older than what he is because of what he talking about and how he talking about it and the maturity in his voice you know what I'm saying but uh yeah so no cap his album it was I listened to majority of it it was hard it was hard I just felt like. A little bit of he's not already, he's not mainstream all the way mainstream yet. So that was a little bit of the reason why, and also I felt like it was other songs or other tapes that's just not that's better in its own way than the tape. But I don't know. It was hard. It was like I said, Pena B Rock was in my top ten. No cap, actually was high up in my tight top ten. And high meaning like closer to number one. So, but just other albums started coming up and I started remembering songs and yeah, this mode was hard. This I touched this one, I listened to this more. Like you gotta you gotta consider all the factors in going into this. But last honorable mention is Boogie. If y'all don't know who that is. Oh, not last, honorable mention. Uh Boogie. I didn't listen to the album, but I listened to one of his songs. Uh, or I almost listened. I forgot. I forgot. That's how. That's how long it was. It was probably like two months ago, and I forgot. That's crazy. Music is just going fast right now. But he was one of my honorable mentions. Last one, Schoolboy Q. I listened to three songs before the album even came out. He could have did way better. I feel like he forced it a little bit. I feel like he forced the album just a teeny tiny little bit and he could have I liked it a couple songs on there don't get me wrong it wasn't trash but I feel like he could have did better and when you, when you consider it in the top 10 that could just be the factor that you know what I'm saying okay he can't be right here in this spot you know but uh at number 10 y'all can tell just 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 listen to the number 10 YG for real for real that's number 10. YG for real, for real. Uh, damn, I never knew she had an album. Damn. That's hurt. That's hurtful. At, uh, at number nine, we got Ariana Grande. Thank you, next. Uh, she were Republic, Republic Records. Um, you know what I'm saying? She, she a heater. You know what I'm saying? She hit it. She had a lot of a lot of songs on the album that pretty much was hits. Um, so she's on here 
primarily for statistics. You know what I'm saying? I checked out two or three songs on my channel off of her album. You know what I'm saying? Like, it definitely touched me a lot. She, I like the way she have her viewers and listeners' attention. You know what I'm saying? By inserting clues and talking about things that actually happened in her real life. You know what I'm saying? She, she don't really make up things. And if she do, it's just to compliment the song, you know? So that she's at number nine. Number eight is Gunna. He wasn't on my list at all. I forgot he dropped. But yeah, he, number eight, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mess with it. You know what I'm saying? Baby Birkin got down. Uh, uh, he, I like the name, the titles of his songs. I, I think he's great at, at naming songs. You know what I'm saying? Richie Mill. Like, he got hits, so I like that. <clears throat> um, coming in at number seven, we got Juice World, Death Race, uh, For Love. Um, this actually could have been higher up in the list, to be honest. But I forgot about this album, surprisingly. I don't know how, because I this probably, I listened to that, this album, most likely longer than any other album that I'm actually second, second most than any other album but coming in at number six is future and i got both of his tapes up there which was the wizard and save me which recently dropped like two weeks ago or something like that or a week and a half ago <clears throat> um i felt like i enjoyed save me more because i felt like he was getting a lot of like drugs and things like that out of his system to be honest I don't know, maybe I'm saying relapse, relapse, whatever, whatever. But I'm just saying, I feel like as a viewer, as a listener, as a supporter, as a fan of Future, I feel like Save Me was more creative, more sonically insane than The Wizard. But they both was crazy, so I just put them both together. They number seven, kind of hard for me at first, but boom, they up there. Uh, actually, I missed an honorable mention. I forgot DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled was my honorable mention. He actually was in my top 10 as well. But let's just get to the number five. 21 Savage. I am. I'm not. I believe that's what the album was called. Correct me if I'm wrong. Where is it at? Oh, damn. I forgot about him. Damn. That's hurtful. I'm sorry, I forgot about YNW Melly. That's crazy. I listened to like three or four songs. Actually, two songs was unreleased. Man. I'm just trying to clarify this album name. Get to the album already, bro. Oh, I don't even think they got 21 on here. Anyway, he was right there because all the problems he had to face um after the album dropped i feel like it was a lot of good songs on there he uh, um he's a prime example of growth you know what i'm saying a lot of artists um they stay in a bubble they stay in a nutshell and they don't grow and they don't allow themselves to grow or even try to change music and sonically you know what i'm saying but he definitely pushed the envelope that's why he's primarily number five number four we got the baby and numbers don't lie. That's all I gotta say for the baby. Numbers don't lie. You heard? You heard? Um, number three, we got Igor. You dig what I'm saying? Which is Tyler created album. Um, DJ Kelly actually got pissed off and stuff because he spent five million dollars creating his album. Which his album was good. He had a strictly hits. And he still barely made number one art. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know how that stuff works. Because it looked like he was supposed to be number two or three. But, yeah. Anyway. I like Igor because I feel like you don't have to actually... I feel like he, Tyler created an artist, not an actual rapper. He's not a flat-out rapper. He's an artist, meaning, like, his voice is an instrument, and he uses it different ways. I feel like we're coming in a time period where you don't have to, you know what I'm saying, 
blue and red makes purple. All I'm you know what I'm saying? You don't have to actually say words. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I think sonically his album was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? He actually, Igor, title credit could have been number four or five, to be honest. I just felt like, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, either this, the top five really could just be all in one. Well, the top, the top, everything except for number one. Anyway, number two, we got Polo G. I listened to his album pretty much a, a lot, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I jam that a lot, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of songs on there that's very creative and very insane sonically. So, yeah. Last but not least, we have Nipsey Hustle. You dig what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? I believe, actually, he might have. I'm tripping, huh? He, that might have been 2018. Hold up. That might have been 2018. Am I tripping on my pimping? That might have been 2018. If so, I'm going to really be pissed off. Hold up. All right, let me see. I might be tripping, though. Oh, I might be tripping. Yep, it was 2018. How the hell did I miss that? Anyway, the, the album lived on to be number one. recreate my number one now I mean I guess we could put DJ Kelly number one you know I'm saying because Nipsey was a part of DJ Kelly album so we can just put DJ Kelly number one um, this is primarily on, based on my opinion comment down below y'all top 10 albums so far of the 2019 year and don't be like a stupid dumb person and put a 2018 album on the list but i had a good reason you know what i'm saying his album did live on all the way up until 2019 and even now you know what i'm saying people are still currently playing his music um so that that happens normally anyway but when stuff like that occurs anyway comment like subscribe if you enjoyed this video you know what type of time I want. Until next time.